here at my cousin Christian's practice. He is part of the wolf pack, I think. Yeah, wolf pack. Look at these little kids. Hi, Crush. It's so cute. What do you have to say? <laughs> That's what he wanted to say. What's up, Bella? How you doing? All right, so I got this universally yum. <laughs> Yum box. It's a monthly subscription, just like Snack Crate, but just a different. I think it's Canadian based. And this month we got Belgium. Woo! Okay. And I have my cousin Brandon here, who's going to read it, and my cousin Jakey who's going to try it with me. All right. First off. All right. Let's get started. We have Rogers hand cooked black and sea salt kettle chips. Oh wait, are they nuts or chips? Nuts. Let's read about it. <laughs> <laughs> Belgian has a long love affair with potatoes. In fact, Belgians are credited with originally inventing French fries. Not the French, as you might suspect. As the story goes, there was a town of poor villagers living Salty. in the Mew Valley in the south of Belgium during the 1680s. Mostly, they survived by catching small fish, slicing them, and then frying them. However, when the river froze and there were no fish to be found, the villagers used potatoes to supplement their diet, preparing them for the same way as the fish, by slicing and frying them. From there, the first French fries were born. Although, honestly, with that diet, we're impressed that anyone survived to tell the tale. All right, well, you want to try some? <laughs> mm. Ooh, do you think they're good? Do you like them? They like salt and uh, pepper chicken, like Tim's. I don't know, they're too pepper. salty for me. I like them. All right, next we have truffles. Belgian truffles. In the US, our politicians fight about a million different things. In Belgium, truffles. politicians fight about those million things plus one more. Chocolate. Because so, so much of their economy depends on the superiority of Belgian chocolate, mm, yeah, it's a highly chocolate. regulated industry. In fact, Belgium is only one of the two countries in the world where the word chocolate is legally restricted. The other is what? Switzerland. Manufacturers can only name <laughs> label their products as chocolate if they contain Try at least 35% cocoa solids. What? 18% cocoa butter, sugar, and milk. But you don't need to look at the ingredients panel to figure out whether it's real chocolate. One bite of these cocoa dusted truffles will give you all the information you need. While the truffles may look like a bigger version of a Hershey's Kiss, the similarities stop there. The decadent dark chocolate shell bounces perfectly with the light buttercream filling yeah. inside. So we're really Save sorry room. after Save these. We've probably ruined the Hershey's Kisses this. forever. I want to try. You want to try this one? Mm, I want my own. Okay. Mm -hmm. This looks good. Like a it's dusted with cocoa with a white center filling. That's what she said. <laughs> 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 yeah? That's good. Alright. So next we have... It just says Belgian. Milk chocolate bar with a caramelized crisp biscuit taste. It's a caramelized biscuit milk chocolate bar. I'll break this in three. Oh. Is we've that it? The, yeah. We've mentioned a lot of good things about Belgian chocolate so far. It's obviously delicious, it's carefully crafted, and it's become Belgian's pride and joy. But like any story, the tale of the Belgian chocolate is not without a bit of tragedy. Mm. 
When Belgium became an like independent bro. nation in 1830, its King Leopold II set about conquering the Congo. He and the Belgian troops colonized the Congo from 1885 to 1908, looting the territory for cocoa crops, diamonds, minerals, ivory, and rubber. The initial supply chain largely helped to make Belgium the powerhouse for chocolate that it is today. While the colonization is a sour part of Belgium's history, it's also important to remember what contributed to the chocolate that we enjoy today. Try it. I like it. it tastes like There's like a rum taste, which makes me nervous because I don't drink. This is what I'm excited to try. Sweeker? Sweeker waffle. Sweeker waffle. <laughs> You probably think you've had a Belgian waffle before. And you're right, you have. You've had a Belgian waffle, or at least an Americanized version of a waffle that was originally called the Brussels waffle. A Belgian man named Maurice Vermesch sold the Brussels waffle at the 1964 World's Fair in Queens, New York. He knew many Americans would remember the name Brussels, so instead, he sold it to people as the Belgian waffle. Attendees loved it, and as they say, the rest is waffle history. That's not bad. I'd, so sweet. I'd eat this for breakfast. I'm excited. Mm. I like that. It looks like it's like a waffle, like straight up. Mm. You don't see anything on that either. Yeah, you don't. It's like a sugar. It's called a sugar waffle. Alright. What are these? Well, like, what's this? The Trefine Vienna Bonbons. You hear a lot about Belgian chocolate, but not so much about Belgian candy. If you do happen to hear about Belgian candy, it's mostly, most likely Trefine, Belgium's most famous family candy company. Founded in 1929, the tiny candy shop has grown into a national brand and a childhood classic for many Belgians. One of the most famous candies, mm. this fruit filled yeah, confection mm. inspired like by one hard. of Austria's most famous sweets, the Wiener Zucker yeah. from Vienna, hence the name. Inside the candy is a softer, chewier center, plus a potent burst of one of our four flavors orange, raspberry, I got raspberry. Lime, lemon, and lime. What'd you get? Raspberry. Mm. I'm sorry, what you can one? only get that. <laughs> What is this one? <laughs> this I'm is, excited. This is good though. This is this is the raspberry flavor and it looks like that. Looks like that. I don't think that's That's not what this is. Oh, I'm eating the wrong. That's <laughs> alright. There's only two of these. I was wondering why mine look different. Oh. I hit the middle. <laughs> okay, you guys should try this because I've already eaten it. It's really good. What is it? It's called a strawberry that's your nougat. Brother. Throughout Europe, you'll find nougat everywhere. You'll find a hard, crunchy nougat called a Tyrone in Spain. You'll find a French nougat called Monte Limar that's so famous that the Beatles wrote about it. You'll find rich Italian nougats filled with hazelnuts and dried citrus, but you know what you won't find anywhere but Belgium? Strawberry nougat. Mm. Pretty good. Okay, this is white chocolate. All right, let's see. Where is this guy? Just put this in three. Looks like this. You want a truffle? Teresa. Sure. Just take the one I didn't bite out of. All right, this one is the creme brulee white chocolate. Hmm. Ooh, yeah. That's my favorite. Ooh, what's not to love about creme brulee? It's a thick, mm. creamy vanilla custard <laughs> top with sugar. That's, that's good. <laughs> resulting in a perfectly charred mm -hmm. top. It's been a part of French cuisine since 19 or 1691, first appearing in a cookbook for the Royals. It's pretty good. This is good. All right, let's see. That's good. Mm. That's good. That's something I get married to. <laughs> why, because it's white? Yeah. <laughs> it's blonde. Yeah. Good boy. What a good... White blonde. So fast. Did you see that? This is so much freaking chocolate. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, <laughs> now, Brie has the Belgian seashells. So I've had these before. I've had these at a wedding. I, I feel like. You haven't? 
I know I've had these at a wedding. The Belgian seashells. Oh. We've tried plenty of chocolate in the three years since we started oh. Universal Yums. We've had peach Wait, chocolate. Wait, last but not green. least is this, just so you guys know. What is that? Oh, yes. Yes. You can have some of... I gotta go. Back to work. One second. Okay, well you're just done. Alright, well, that's my cousin Brandon. He works from home, so he has to go back to work. But Jakey wants to try one. You can do the middle one if you want. Uh, I know you're looking at that one. Just do it again and do the reading. What? No. Oh, this one definitely has something in the center. Really? Yeah. This... Well, I don't know what it says about this, but this is chocolate seashells, and... Anything that has chocolate in it, and I'll like it. And if it's a seashell, I can like it even more. You know what I mean? I would like to go. Does that one have anything in the middle? It's the same. Mm. Then they're all the same. I don't even know. Oh, so much oh. chocolate. I think all of them have chocolate in the middle. It has ice cream flavored chocolate from Russia in the middle. Mm. You guys want some chocolate? Are you sure? I will eat some Belgian chocolate, that's for sure. Alright, we're done. Peace out. Um, Let's shake. See ya.